हेलो एवरीवन आई जैनब टनवाला लेक्चरर ऑफ हरियंत कॉलेज ऑफ आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड साइंस कैंप वो टुडे एक्सप्लेन न्यू द सिक्स एंड सेवन्थ प्रिंसिपल ऑफ हेनरी फेयल द सिक्स प्रिंसिपल इज प्रिंसिपल ऑफ सबॉर्डिनेशन ऑफ इंडिविजुअल इंटरेस्ट टू जनरल इंटरेस्ट यर सबॉर्डिनेशन मीन्स गिवन सेकेंड इम्पॉर्टेंस according to henry fiol this principle in this principle the interest of an individual must be given less importance than the interest of the whole organization while taking decisions in the organization the manager should always consider the interest of the whole group rather than the interest of a single employee similarly the employee should also protect the interest of the organization and consider his interest subordinate if the organization prospers automatically the employee will prosper subordination to individual interest to general interest in this principle first and foremost priority is always given to organization collective goal and interest this means that all decisions are taken keeping the organization benefit in mind it is the responsibility of the manager to create balance between individual interest and organization interest if he cannot balance both the interest then he has to sacrifice his personal interest the manager has to prepare the mental attitude of the worker in such a way that the worker ignores their personal interest and concentrates to achieve the organizational goal for example when an individual works as a receptionist and smokes tobacco cigarettes if this affects his service with regard to irritating his clients or customers the organization will expect the individual to smoke at that time that will not affect his service provisions another example is while working for overtime many individuals have to face many problems while working for overtimes but still they have to work as the organization demands them to work so that this condition can happen when there is increase of workload or the consumers demand so The next principle of Henry Fayol is principle of centralization. Centralization refers to concentration of power or authority. In some organization this power is vested in one hand or few hands. This situation occurs in small organizations. But if the size of the organization is large then centralization becomes difficult. then there is a decentralization of power or authority the power is given to different people example in large organizations there are department heads or managers handling different task or line of supervisors according to this principle there must be a proper balance between centralization and decentralization in the organization this is to be done according to the size of the organization nature of activity etc difference between centralization and decentralization is centralization refers to authority in the hands of few at top level whereas decentralization means evenly distribution of power at every level of management in centralization decisions are taken by the top level managers whereas the in decentralization the authority to make decision is given to the head of each department of an organization centralization is usually followed in small organizations and decentralization is followed in large organizations coming to the conclusion according to subordination of individual interest to general interest 
the interest of one person should not take priority over the interest of organization as a whole and according to the principle of centralization a company must not completely be centralized or completely decentralized but there must be both depending upon the nature and size of the organization thank you